Now, whenever you click on these links, to consider the active link, you have to remember this UI or this URL. But in the React Router DOM, you have a component which allows you to specify active link. Let's see how we can add active links inside this application. Active links means to display the link as an active link which the user is looking at. So what we need to do is, instead of this link component, we are going to import the now link component. So just out of this link, I'm going to call here now link. Now this is also a component, but this component is used to display active link. Sometimes you want to display active links to the user. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab this now link and replace that with this link component, something like this. Now, when I save this in JS, you're not going to see any effect. Now, what you have to do is, you have to tell this now link component that when we click on the link, I want to change the color of the text. We need to call style property to this now link. So we call here style is equal to and inside these curly braces here i'm going to call a function the arrow function and just out of that inside this style function you can get right inside this parenthesis you are going to get an argument the argument is going to be is active using this variable you're going to get true and false value and using that true and false value you can change the style of this active link let me show you how inside this style you can return an object and change the color of this text. So I'm going to specify here color, specify colon, and then specify value to it. So if I specify here red, then this is just going to specify red color to all these links. But what if I use this is active variable? So as I said, this is active is going to return true or false value. It's going to return true when we click on the link, otherwise, return false. So I'm going to grab this is active, specify that here, call here question mark and call here ternary if an else statement, something like this. If this is active is true, then return red color, otherwise return nothing. You can see it's only going to color the active link. If I change and click on the other link, you can see it's going to change the link and we have the active link color. And now let's suppose that you want to specify hex color inside this double code. Then you can do that as well. So you can just specify here hex value and save the changes. You're going to have hex color to this text. Now you're not limited to only specify style to this link component. You can also specify class name attribute. So let me just command this style. And let me just command this class name as well. So let's suppose that you want to specify a specific class when you have the active link. In that case, you can specify here class name. In this curly braces, you're simply going to call a function like this. And then inside this parenthesis, you call here is active. And then inside this class name here, you're going to call is active question mark. And then inside the double code, you're simply going to call the class name. Just for now, I'm going to call the Telvin CSS class name, which is text red 400. Pass here colon and the false value. So if this is active is true, then I'm going to return this class, otherwise return nothing. Now what you have to do is, you have to return this statement. So instead of these curly braces, you can just going to specify this statement. So when you save the changes, you're going to have the results something like this. Now because I don't have this BG grade 200 to these links, that is why this is going to remove the background from these links. If I want to add one more class here, I can do that as well. And then if you want, you can make a list of classes inside a variable. So inside your function, let's suppose if you create here a variable, active class name is equal to, and you specify all your Kelvin classes here. And you are going to call these active classes right here. Save the changes, you're going to get the same result. Because now, instead of having all the classes inside this function, you create a variable and store all your Tailwind classes there. So this is how you can use NavLink in your application.